Turkey Tom and the boys, Turkey Tom, who's about to embark on his journey to India, he debated about George today uh, with a devout friend of, of Katie. And by devout friend, I mean uh, someone who had no affiliation to the drama at all whatsoever. And he got completely debate trolled into thinking he was debating someone. And it's literally because he's a British guy. A random British guy stood in pretending he was Katie's friend. I'm not even kidding. Yeah. Hello, I didn't hello, hello. Your video, so. Tom is not a good debater. He's never been a good debater. Uh, he's obviously better now than he was when he was like a 12 year old debating what's his name? But this was Tom's best debate I've ever seen him have. And he got eviscerated because the guy was literally just fucking trolling the entire time and he had no idea. So obviously, I might not be able to respond to everything. I might refuse to answer some questions just to make that clear. This oh, yeah. is such a hard watch, knowing this guy is fucking lying. Oh my god. You'll be answering, don't you worry. Um, oh god! So the big question I have is, do you remember oh, no. Katie's statement? You probably saw the entire initial Twitch stream. Mm -hmm. Do you remember whether or not she mentioned that there was cuddling going on? Oh my god, bro. This is, so, this is such a hard watch. Uh, I believe she mentioned it. I don't think she well, did, right? At least implied. From my recollection, there was no mention of the cuddling. Can you speculate maybe as to why that would have been left out? Uh, I think she implied it. I mean, obviously, it What do you mean implied? Probably... Dude, you said there were... Uh, and people are saying stuff with Destiny like, oh, you should vet your sources better. What is the harm in platforming someone about an allegation of rape that's not true? Like, what is the harm in bringing this guy on and talking to him? Oh, you didn't vet your character? Oh, wow, dude. This could really affect the not-rape allegation that's happening right now. <laughs> Sitting next to each other on the couch and all of a sudden... Here's the thing. This I, I could see myself being in Thomas' position, assuming that Destiny has, like, vetted this person and, and he's having this fucking big debate. Like, this is the big moment on the Destiny stream to, like, completely destroy somebody. I could see myself in this position that Tom is in right now, and I'm so glad it's him. And not me. And he starts touching her. Mm, I th think it was implied. What does that uh, mean? Yeah, I don't. I don't think it was explicitly stated because it, it would make her. Look <laughs> what do you? Bad. What do you mean? Is this the Finkelstein debate? Yeah, this is the Finkel. This is the big debate they're talking about. How do you imply that you're? What does Destiny have to do with this? He's hosting the stream. That's his stream we're watching. Tom is, Tom, he was talking to this guy first, and Tom joined to debate him. As, where Destiny's moderating, also kind of teaming. Cuddling someone, like how would you imply that? Uh, yeah, we we sat you know really nice and close to each other. Uh, Does that imply cuddling? You're sitting next to someone. Uh, we sat really close, and I, I don't know. I'm not a writer, you know. Uh, You're not a writer. Do you have to be a writer? <laughs> So, uh, wow, man. I mean, I think we can all, we can all <laughs> from, uh, from this, we can all, we can all, I don't, I don't know what you mean by implied cuddling. If I say I'm sitting really close to someone, would you assume that I'm cuddling? And during this debate, Tom tweeted out, like, I'm talking to a retarded, um, like a retarded fucking defender of Katie right now on stream. Like, he, like, hoarded his whole audience in there to see him, like, own this guy socially. Yeah. No, but you know, in the context of the whole event, you know, I think I think uh, that there are that ways is... to I think there are ways to imply cuddling, but the way to imply cuddling would be like, yeah, we were kind of like laying down and she had her head on my chest. I think that would like imply cuddling. Yeah, I mean, that, I mean, yes, that yeah. would imply cuddling. But That's I think that like sitting next to somebody, I was playing I... games on my phone to distract mm -hmm. myself from the fact that he was touching me. And then what he says is, oh, we were playing games together. And then she, in her in her statement afterwards, had to concede the fact that, yes, they were actually cuddling. And then she had to say, I didn't know cuddling was inherently sexual. Now let me ask you, Persephone, have you cuddled with a girl before? Uh, yeah. Was this? <laughs> have you ever cuddled with a girl? Uh, yeah. Like, you had to think about it. Just a friend? Uh, my current girlfriend. I'm Your current girlfriend. Friend, yeah. Have you cuddled with any other girls? No, I'm obviously, I'm not. You know, okay, I'm so if, if your girlfriend found out that you were cuddling with another girl, how would she feel? Obviously, dude, Tom is like he he like prep these arguments to debate somebody, all right? And then he gets in here and he's like, "Oh, finally, I get to school this fucking stupid bitch's friend." Oh, this is so good. Not very happy. Okay, and why is that? Uh, she could say it's cheating, right? Right, because cuddling is like an intimate activity, right? Yeah, I guess. 
Oh, that Too line exactly. of. <laughs> Questioning. Kind of weird God damn. Without the fact that they were cuddling, because it's inherently an intimate. That was a. Like, that I was a know, brutal uh, line. Oh my. <laughs> oh my God. Oh my God. This is so much worse than I thought. I get it now. I get why. Oh my God. I feel tickled right now, chat. I feel tickled. Oh my God. I didn't plan on fucking. I probably wouldn't cuddle with a guy that I didn't plan on fucking, and I'm not even gay. Is he a debate Jedi? What the fuck? Oh my. Oh man. Oh man, no. Oh, I think she implied it. <laughs> what do you mean Sorry. by that? What do you mean implied? How do you imply cuddling? She, uh, said, she said they were hanging out, he was being weird and creepy, they were sitting next to each other, and then all of a sudden I, she feels his hand on her, and she tries to just look at her phone to distract herself. Like, I wouldn't, would you ever, would you ever cuddle with someone with, with like no intent of ever having anything past that? Well, dude, Tom is going to be known as a, as a debate Jedi from now on, and it's always going to reference to this, no matter what he does in the future. Oh, wait, I just died. Oh, my God. She was also cuddling with uh, her other friend. Who was at the event? Who was her other friend? Uh, I'm not sure. If, I'm not sure if they want to be involved. Katie. I'm not sure if they want to be involved. This guy's inventing new players in this game. Okay. Uh... But that's a bad yeah. question. Every kid your age is bisexual now, Tom. You should know this. Okay. Fucking your age is right. <laughs> I guess. I guess the, the, the thing I'm trying to Every is, yeah, no, the thing. The thing I'm very clear. Oh, sorry. Bye, with our millennial is like right. is like. Did did cuddling give him a right to like rip her clothes off and go silverback gorilla mode on her? <laughs> he brings up gorilla mode. Tom needs to stop. He's gonna get himself in trouble. Definitely not. That would be a step too far. But mm -hmm. if you're cuddling with someone, is it a major transgression for someone to then touch your stomach? And would that leave you uh, traumatized? I wouldn't say it's a major transgression. I would say. He should have, you know, maybe. You wouldn't say sexual assault is a major transgression. You've been saying he, she got sexually assaulted the entire time. Uh, I guess it would. I would say it's a transgression. A major transgression, I guess, would be rape. So this is minor sexual assault in your mind, then. Uh. No, minor sexual assault would be if she was seventeen. She's eighteen, Tom. Get your facts straight. For a major transgression. So it is major. Okay, gotcha. Look, Dude, man, I got look at Destiny. I need to zoom in. You need to see Destiny's face while Turkey Tom is destroying this troll, going silverback gorilla mode on him. I think I a major transgression. <laughs> Can we get a Wojak of that? Can someone draw that face? Dude, Destiny's face is Tom owns the troll. Holy shit. And so it is Does major. Destiny know? He has no idea. He thinks Tom is nuking this guy from orbit. Okay, gotcha. Look, man, I, I think I just encourage you to think about the fact that uh, uh, Katie lied. Um, uh, <laughs> she lied. I, I don't, don't know I, why. Uh, I don't. I don't know what. I don't know what the purpose was. Um, I know it sucks to find out that someone that was your friend is kind of full of shit. I think her tears were real. I don't know who convinced her that she was traumatized. Uh, a lot of people are pointing towards this this Amesy person. I don't know much about them, but a lot of people are saying Dude, she's involved. He's somehow. bringing up Rape of Thrones with this guy right now, being like. Do you know Amesy? Do you know this Amesy thing that's going on right now? I have no fucking idea what that is about. But what I will say is that uh, there's absolutely no circumstance in the real world under which what happened would be considered sexual assault. And literally, in literally any in any courtroom, he would never be found guilty of anything. It would never happen. And there, and you said before, I'm I'm sure there are cases where you know to <laughs> he's he's literally mocking the guy's British voice. Could you imagine if this guy was like not even English? Like that, that's fake too. Like he's so forth, he, th he thought this thing so ahead. He literally just comes out and he starts talking with an American tone. Like, oh my. The thing has been called sexual. That's just that has not happened. That is fake. That is <laughs> that is this is completely nebulous. It never happened, dude. Uh, well, it reminds me of my friend. Do you know what this? Oh my God! Do you know what this is? This is Tom's review tech USA moment. This is Tom thinking he's interviewing Ralph's wife like ex-wife and then he finds out at the end that it's not ralph's ex-wife and then in reality he's being trolled by a man with a voice changer that's t oh no billy ren who uh, generally this guy is not too good with consent obviously he's a streamer follow him your friend doesn't uh, go with consent <laughs> what what's going on well generally uh i i remember i was t talking with him obviously an online friend uh uh sorry i lost my train of thought uh uh so generally i was talking to him and you know he no there's so there's like a little british accent there you're saying oh there's no british i know like you, just, you hear that uh yeah. uh so generally i was talking to him and you know he you know he you know he kissed you know he was you know puddling and you know he went straight you know first started french kissing and it's like <laughs> wait, wait.
Wait, wait, what is he talking? I'm sorry, I just I got I fucking zoned. Wait, French kissing? What? And the girl pushed him off, and you know he didn't ask. And I think it's a similar situation. This is a similar situation to like tongue kissing somebody. Like, there's some signals here. This guy's not being exactly truthful with what's happening. So what happened? Friends, it, it sounds fake. Well, boy, do I have an answer for you. Uh, yes. Uh, you know, I think people can make mistakes. Oh, I see. So then, wait, what is... wait, hold on, wait, wait, wait. Uh, yes, I think it's a similar situation to what happened with Willie Rin. Uh, yes, I, you know, I think people can make mistakes. Oh, I... So he describes a friend sexually assaulting a woman in his own words. Like, that's what he thinks sexual assault is. And then Tom goes, wait, you're still friends with that guy? He goes, yeah, I think my friends can make mistakes. <laughs> and then nobody's, nobody's even, like, slightly, like, wait, what? <laughs> wait, 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 what did you say? I see. So then what is even the thing that you're hoping to come out of the George Not Found thing? What are, what are you hoping is, like, the result? Uh, I what do you think want... Katie is hoping is the result? I just want uh, accountability for George, and he apologized, and I think, uh... Generally, why do you think? Wait, 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 hold on, wait, real quick. Why couldn't that apology have just been private? Uh, <laughs> I mean, what would be his incentive to apologize? Well, why not? Dude, Destiny lost the debate, bro. This is the, this is insane. Well, if he doesn't, then you go public. But when you say when you make things public, get him when you Destiny, get him. Say accountability. It sounds like you're talking about public execution. That's what ninety nine percent of people would think of, right? I I guess yeah. I mean, cancel culture. Uh, well, you, hold on, wait, to be clear, wait, wait, just to be clear, you are the cancel culture here, right? It's not cancel culture, it's not a thing that's all around us. You are the cancel culture here, that's what's happening, right? Uh, <laughs> yes, if someone sexually assaults someone, they should be canceled. That's... Okay, so when you said earlier accountability, you did mean public that's execution. Right. They should be canceled and... I mean, that's what uh, uh, is. Do you kind of see how the narrative here... I was trying to be a good cop, fuck you, Tom. Do you see the problem with saying that you have a friend who is lying about her age so that she can drink alcohol in an attempt to gain that cloud and network with people, and that she's doing that just to gain cloud and network with people while putting everybody else at risk, and now she's had a very minor physical encounter with a guy who's also really popular, and now she decides to go public and accuse him of something that, of tickling. Do you see how all of this like plays really, really, really poorly in terms of just making her seem like a clout demon that is now just doing this for clout? Like if somebody would lie about their age, get intoxicated, um, hang out with people for clout, why not falsely accuse somebody of SA for clout eight months later after not even contacting them a single time about it? Wait, wait, real quick, wait, wait, I'm sorry, wait, 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 I'm sorry, real quick, can you disconnect and reconnect your mic, or hang up and come back again? You sound like a robot again, you just... Uh, my just sucks, so. Or hit it, what you sound like? on Wakanda internet. Darth Vader. Uh, <sighs> the seriousness of this is hilarious, you yeah, know, this is all... Dude, you thought the fucking George video was a hard watch, Jesus Christ. I ripped my clothes off and went deep in the pussy. Well, um, okay, bro, what the... F sorry. Well... Well, what you know, say for example, you know, you're in an abusive relationship where your partner beats you. You could say, think that this is normal because obviously you've been with this person for a long time, and you know, it could take you, you know, let's say it could take you a long time to realize that this person's abusive. You know, you could accuse this person retroactively, I guess. You know, That's true, but the problem the problem facts. is not the problem is not just like the waiting period or anything. The main problem is that she waited so long to expose him for something that is not sexual assault. That is the main issue in my mind, and. I think that's uh, I think that's very important. Now, as far as George apologizing, I think something that you would probably admit is that the Minecraft community and the MCYT stand community is extremely toxic, extremely vindictive. It's constantly trying to cancel people. I mean, Dream apologized once a month every single fucking year, all by the same people who demanded an apology were calling him a pedophile unjustly. Uh, there's a lot of public pressure, social pressure. Wait, this guy is British using an American voice thing? Are you serious? How would you know that? Wait, am I being trolled now? Now I'm getting trolled. From the community. Um, no, this is Rubber Ross. Oh, I got it. And he probably felt like he might lose his career if he didn't apologize. Because even after his response, uh, where he pointed out that she lied by omission, where he pointed out that it definitely wasn't sexual assault, people weren't accepting it. Slowly, now they are. I'm seeing the stands come around. Uh, the, the free-thinking ones, okay? The ones that aren't the iRobot guy. But generally speaking, there's a lot of social pressure from this community. And people were saying he should lose his career. People were saying on Twitter they hope he dies. People were saying they hope he gets cancer. People were trying to deplatform him, like, consistently. I mean, this is, this is like, part of the community. And so, obviously, like, on one hand, like, I think George... It's probably worth calling him a coward for that apology. On the other hand, like the reason why he did it is because of the insane social pressure that exists within MCYT. Um, Wait, this is actually too mad using a white voice changer. That's what's happening, bro. Yes. Uh, I would say obviously cancel culture. You know, obviously I don't support people telling them to kill themselves. And no, it's not Rubber Ross. Obviously, you know, I think, you know, I mean, I, I don't personally, you know, if someone falsely accused me of sexual assault, I don't see why I would, you know, apologize to my family about it. You know, I would you know, firmly deny it. So. I don't. Obviously, well, probably I'm not because he felt like there was an so, insurmountable battle he had to face. So, I, okay. obviously, my perspective is very different. But I guess as I was asked for years ago, people take victims to kill themselves, 
And yeah, there was a pocket. Let's go a little further ahead. For Harvey Weinstein to be. Oh, now this now this is the Harvey Weinstein part. This is where he lost me. This is where I thought it was starting to be a little weird. Hold on. Wait, 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 wait. You keep bringing up Harvey Weinstein. Harvey Weinstein was not. Hold on. I don't believe Harvey Weinstein was assaulting people. Uh oh. Harvey Weinstein, I'm pretty sure, was like he full was on raping, raping people. people. Okay, thank God. Ooh, I got a little worried there. It's fucking women for roles and pressuring them, okay? This girl seeked out George. George wasn't her boss. George wasn't employing her. George wasn't offering her opportunities. And yeah, we paused champed in there. We, we paused champed the guy right there for a second, I, I will say. Pressuring her for sex after words that none of that ever happened if anything yeah. every single part of the story plays counter to that narrative because her and george didn't have sex george didn't seem to punish her at all for it he didn't try to cancel her from anything he didn't try to axe her out of any projects he wasn't pressuring her afterwards was he like they had eight months afterwards of conversations where he never said like hey we didn't fuck so now you know i'm coming after you or like yeah we're not gonna work with that katie chick she's kind of like a stuck a bitch like i don't want to do anything with her fuck her like did that did any of that ever happen was there any retribution at all i mean she was scared of that happening but it did she was scared of that happening for a whole year. Oh, now I'm fucking debating him. Jesus. This is... Whoa. What the fuck was that? It could have. It didn't do you think, because she do you think that someone can be scared of something that's, like, unreasonable or unjust or, like, like just dumb paranoia? It's not justified? Do you think that's possible? Uh, I mean, considering, you know, uh, things happened before. With our... Wait, someone in chat said that I was muted. And I checked and I wasn't muted. And then he goes, oh, wait, my bad. My volume is off the whole time. Got it, buddy. Weinstein, I, why, wait, wait, why do you keep, wait, 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 why do you keep bringing up Harvey Weinstein? Up fucking Harvey Weinstein. This is completely unrelated to that. Has there ever been a case in the MCYT community from Dream or George Dude, or Sap imagine getting double teamed by Turkey Tom and Destiny. And like, this is, oh man. Like, like you have the opportunity to be like hit by commentary's best and then like bread to, or like the left uh, debate sphere's best at the same time. And you're just trolling the shit out of both of them. This is actually fucking disgusting. This is hilarious. Or one of their friends who were like, hey, if you want to make it to the top, you got to suck my dick. Has that happened? Uh, maybe it's happened. Like, Wait, these, are the, these are the two best guys in, their, in each of their demographics, right? Like, these are the two top dogs getting fucking brutally raped on stream. Has this ever well, happened so in the no, gaming community? Is. Actually, this is the only sexual assault that's happened near the George Not Found sex, uh, allegations. The sexual assault of the mind. Ever? No, 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 it has not happened in this community. You say maybe it happened. Do you think a possibility of something happening means it is like a valid concern to have? I, mean, I could have raped someone it, last it's, night. It's a possibility, I, mean, I guess. Considering it has happened in other industries such as... But this is know, not that industry. industry. This is YouTube. Wait, wait, wait. I mean, Do you think, wait, wait. Have women made false accusations before? No. Uh, yeah. Never. Okay, so if that's happened, should we just assume then that because it's possible, then she must be making a false allegation? No, I don't think you should. Dude, these are the deep cover trolls that were flagging on Monday and Matt's behalf for years. That's these are we're meeting one of the deep cover trolls that was out flagging while he was collecting boulders. I think that wait, wait. If we can assume that we can assume that Weinstein has done things in other industries, and we're going to assume George could be Weinstein, couldn't we also assume that the girl could be a false accuser? Mm, I don't, sorry, can you repeat that again? Sorry. If we assume that George could be a rapist, why can't we assume that she could be a false accuser? Uh, I mean, you don't know the truth 100%, I mean... Yeah, but none of the truth 100% is, is cutting in her favor. I mean, he apologized you for it. You weren't even fucking there. I mean, fair enough, but I, I trust my friend's account, but, you know? Yeah, but your friend's account isn't rape or sexual assault either. <laughs> she was touched, so... Inappropriate. If you get touched, does that mean a sexual assault? Uh, yes. No, so, if I... <laughs> Dude, I'm sorry. This is ridiculous. If, if someone if someone says, "Hey, do you want to touch me?" and I say, "Yeah," and I touch them, are you presenting me this troll uh, iron? Wait, iron. Ironically, or are you trying to say ironically? Yeah. That sexual assault. Uh, if I randomly, I don't know, touched your thigh, uh, was it random? Dude, this is uh, insane. It, yeah. You think it's random to be cuddling oh, with no, someone no, for no, an no, hour no. and then touch their stomach? Every action it's is discreet. Though. What there do you mean? Like, well, no I mean, like, like it was sudden, and then, like, he suddenly touched her, but, like, this was a long chain of oh, events. So. Like, everything is a sudden oh, thing. Like, they were suddenly cuddling, and then they were suddenly hugging. Long. Like, what do you mean? Like, it's. <laughs> I clicked off by this point. I didn't know how long this went. Oh, this is even worse. So, if we look at a past example, uh, careers. Okay. Yes, but this is not live. Do I see why they look bad? Yeah, no, I see why. These are different people. Do you think that well, all YouTubers are the he's same a person? Figure in the, you know, he's in the same community. So Wait, I, this guy. No, he was in the same community, and then he raped a kid, and he got fucking kicked out. Wait, why is he pulling up Lion Maker right now? What is that? Well, he was in the same community. Yeah. 
yeah and when you say the same it was in the same community could you imagine saying that lion maker was in the same community as dream as if lion maker wasn't in jail while fucking dream was making his first videos community also this is 10 years ago with completely different people they just play the same fucking game so they weren't even in the same community mm, uh, what do you mean mm? yeah dude tom has no idea this is a troll yet he brings up lion maker unprompted in the comments. you think george not found is talking to lion maker like hey man look what i'm about to do check He's this out like, oh, fuck 18 that's a little old like you think that's what's going uh, on this is not the same community they don't even know each other am i in the same community as you i don't fucking know who you are yeah fair enough i guess i mean <laughs> it is fair lion maker is currently in the ass raped in prison community <laughs> You see how like this is this is like completely just like retarded. No, nah, I, I guess you basically had to concede every point, is. but you're still clinging onto the idea like, oh, this is sexual assault. You can't explain. Dude, I, I see Tom just dagger, dagger, dagger. I, I just, I, I guess I feel uh, I feel that I have to defend my friend. I guess. Hey, Teddy. There are okay. a lot of Minecraft <laughs> YouTubers who do bad stuff. I, I mean. Wait, what's? Are I you mean, friends I with guess. the? Are you friends with? Who, Tom, help me out here. Who are the people that hate Dream and the other George? The people that hate Dream are, it's like this British squad of people. It's. Uh... I sent the Destiny Wojak to you. No, bro. No, you didn't, dude. Oh, man. Oh, please, please, please. Wait, wait. Hold on. Zach42Pet, you are literally awesome. This is a picture of Pyrocynic. I died, I don't care. This is a picture of Pyrocynical kissing Hyojin. Hold on, wait, we need this. Okay, let me, let me get the, I need to do the John Madden thing. We're gonna, we need to John Madden this. So I need to pull this image right here. All right, we gotta get all of her in the image. Okay, here, this is unironically one of the funniest fucking things ever so if you're watching this is like a picture they posted to instagram of pyro kissing his girlfriend at vidcon okay so there this is pyro right here okay this is pyro you see him she's going in for the kiss okay we have the this thing going on right but in the background a total gangster is fucking staring at them that is 15 year old afroed up fucking aiden projects creepily staring at these two people kissing while they're taking the the stalker image of six foot 15 year old aiden fucking staring at pyro that is one of the funniest things that i've and people like organically found this and they're like is that aiden creepily blurred out on the left hand side of the screen while you guys take your fucking vidcon picture <laughs> dude he's just like staring <laughs> okay <laughs> i'm sorry i think there was there was some other reason i was here um i'm not seeing it by reply oh that's not what i was looking for that's the wrong kind of woe jack hold on let me because i don't always see notifs let me quickly um here I think, it's Eamzy, I think it's uh the guy that was screaming over the emo music these people wait uh, yeah do you know that oh wait you did say that guy was another friend ryan yeah, yeah are you friends with ryan uh we're not close but yeah sort of like acquaintances do you, you think know? that being like a part of this other friend group also kind of makes things look <laughs> kind of weird i mean people are friends you know i mean but you're yeah but it kind of sounds like you guys are playing like game of rapes over here there's like some ma bro he said it he said it no massive like conspiracy to try to weaponize an 18 year olds i have to send pyro you breaking down that photo i wonder if he knows someone was hardcore creeping out on his makeout session i feel like pyro doesn't like me so i don't think he's gonna look at it but Physical experience as leverage to take down an opposing <laughs> royal family is what it feels like uh game of thrones uh i i don't think so i mean she she was just assaulted i mean it's a simple story <laughs> Well, it's not a simple story because she's decided to make a... Now it's not a... I agree with you that it was a simple story. I don't think it was assault. It was a simple story. Now, oh, no. now it's not. Now it's an incredibly dramatic story.
right? Well, I think she, I think she should be canceled. I think her career should end here. Probably True. Most- <laughs> Thank God someone agrees. How the fuck are we gonna pander to this woman and just falsely accuse somebody of fucking sexual assault, dude? Listen, all right. Anything you could possibly say is destroyed by the fact that she was sitting there posturing, being like. I felt dirty in a way that I couldn't wash off. The parody guy in this call couldn't create a troll better than the girl who fucking described her own fake rape. All right, this girl should not have a career. Anything, be- anything other than her getting blown off the fucking internet is not an acceptable response to this drama. It's the people involved. In really? This girl. I, absolutely. Absolutely. She admitted to drinking underage. Uh, she had a fake ID, or she got a ban somehow when she shouldn't have. She went into an apartment by your own admission and hers, looking for clout. Uh, she called up with a guy for an hour, and then afterwards came out doing another accusation, looking for clout. Like, yeah, this is like the worst set of facts ever. I would never work with or in, in tangent with a person like this ever in my entire life. Persephone, if someone sexually assaulted you, would you go back and continue cuddling with them? Well, for, uh, on, well. she felt pressure. She was intoxicated, so. Okay. Um, and and whose fault is that? Uh, I can't really blame her for wanting to network. Dude. <laughs> dude, dude, she got sexually assaulted and sat back down. Yeah, I can't blame her for wanting to network. How did you not realize this guy was a little trolly? Like, there's no way. Dude, no, you're, you're, you're giving so, the so, you, so everything. You're not supposed to say this part so out loud. Not her fault. Not her. <laughs> yeah, I know, Destiny. I know he isn't supposed to say that out loud. <laughs> fucking responsible oh man this is so bad watching it in hindsight i don't think listen i i'm again i want to stress like that obviously i don't think this is like a fucking a huge fucking deal it's just really funny to make fun of i don't think this is like a knock on either of their characters or their ability to research or anything uh, I'm, I'm playing it up, but like there's not really much to play up here this is really funny buddy she didn't know what she was like i like both of these people just to be clear he's doing you can't blame her everything george does is he knew what he was doing it's all his fault you see how this doesn't fucking make sense i can't blame her what can you blame her for if she killed someone with her car tomorrow would you be like well i can't blame her she was trying to get to work so she could uh, so she could do her minecraft stream. I, like what i i mean people have personal I responsibility don't really think i can i don't really think i can blame a freshly 18 year old oh freshly uh, It sounds so foreign to hear this guy say freshly 18 year old. 18. She was 18 and six. Wait, 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 hold on. Also, she was a legal adult. Wait, are you really the one who came up with the freshly 18? Uh, yeah. I mean, I invented the term freshly 18. Oh, man. <laughs> That's a good phrase. It worked. It worked. It worked. Wait. Like, I, I unfortunately, to get people's words. attention, you need a flair for the dramatic wait she'll rape victims like i felt like i was dirty and i could never wash it off like you're lying right you're it's like a it's a it's a clout campaign at the expense of the other guy's career twisting my words you said it got people's attention like uh, unfortunately get people's words. attention you need a flair for the dramatic bro <laughs> sorry i'm sorry dude oh god no, this is where Destiny knew? No, bro. This is like the rich thing all over again. No, we don't. No, that's not true, bro. <laughs> yeah, well, I guess you definitely did a good job of making it way more dramatic than it was, didn't you? Who else helped in this document? I don't really want to help people. Why not? You said five or six. You, you're already out of Katie. Well, she outed herself. Well, yeah, she obviously is cool. I mean, you just, you come on the stream and made yourself and her look like fucking idiots, so who else? Come Oh, ooh, Tom, you, you're overcommitting, Tom. You're overcommitting. Come on, give it to me. Let's I do some real justice. Real people. Well, obviously, my friend Willie Red helped. I'm sure that's obvious. Willie helped? Yes. So the, is, it, is this the guy you're talking about that had some kind of allegation? Uh, yeah, I, I <laughs> think it was stupid. So a guy who you believe sexually assaulted victims. someone helped someone else write a document called... Okay, man, come on. Don't you feel like this is a little too good to be true? That this is just a little much? A guy who sexually assaulted somebody helped write the document. Oh, he's... Like someone else it's his sexual path to redemption, okay? He's redeemed uh, himself in the eyes of I, the woke. He apologized, and I think that... I hope that her and George can move on. So if I um I if I went silverback gorilla mode on a random girl on the street and raped her, would you say if I apologize? I like, think okay. rape is pretty extreme, but you know, let's say you were to accidentally bump into someone, or let's say you were to, I don't know, let's say the same thing happened with you. Uh, I think if he apologized, I'll read that in a minute. he owned up, which he did. I, I think. Uh, so why know, do you think she felt the need to make a, uh, a a public statement if all she wanted was a simple apology? Because the only thing that a public statement does is uh, make other people think people he's a danger. Were... 
like fucking know, blow up situation. Why not just why not just message him and be like, hey? Yeah, this, this is what I don't cool understand. Why could you not have just message? And then it's like, well, Harvey Weinstein. Like at this point, do you understand that that argument is used for everything? Like, let's say she gets raped, she shouldn't go to the cops because remember that one true crime story where the cop actually raped a girl too? Like the cop could be a rapist. You don't want to go to your parents because remember that one time, uh, you know, parents Casey Anthony, whatever the fuck, like parents killed their children. Like you can't talk to your parents. Like you don't want to go to your friends because remember those stories where sometimes friends I... kill their friends. Like it's such a weird thing to say that anybody could be a rapist, murderer, thief, burglar at any point in time, and then we're gonna operate like that's a fact, even though it's a possibility. I... All right, let's get through this. Hold on, wait, wait. I'm sorry. Wait, just ahead of time. I'm sorry. Let me, let me, wait, wait, let me head this off as a large content creator for 15 years. If you sexually assaulted somebody, you can't get ahead of that. You're fucked. And you know it. There's no way to get ahead of that. There's nothing you can do. Mm -hmm. I mean, he did until... I mean, but it wasn't like the worst fucking thing. Stop, stop. Hold on. I'm just curious. And this would never be a request because nobody would ever say this, that we should leak all the text messages. But I'm just curious. In all of your guys' conversation and all of your workshopping this doc and all of this making it spicy and dramatic... easily fuck. Thank you. After you said you didn't help that much. Okay? And all of this... Did anybody ever say something like, hey, have you thought about messaging him and talking to him? Or was the goal from the very beginning to always make this a very public oh, ordeal? God. Uh, I mean, he could get ahead of Destiny the still doesn't know? No, no, they don't know. They they actually don't know. So it's you, just like the rich thing, like you think. It wasn't even consideration. Wait, don't worry, we're going to get to the big reveal, Froggy. It's coming. Okay. So do you think that in the future, do you think that every single bad event that happens between two people when one person's famous, all of it should be made public immediately? There's no, there is no uh, more private reconciliation. Nobody can just like make a mistake. Nobody can like fuck I up. I think like it a... depends on the circumstance. Like, I don't know, let's say you say, I don't know, let's say you should talk to someone in private. Eye. Obviously that's something you can sort out, but I think if you sexually assault someone, that's not really something, obviously I don't think that's something you can sort out. But what about your friend? Uh, Dude, you know, some... Tom thought he got like the kill shot. I'm biased because I'm friends with him. <laughs> you think you're biased because you're friends with Katie? Oh, I mean, I'd be lying if I wasn't. Okay. Do you think that your friendship with her is clouding your judgment? You better link this. Destiny's still live. This is the stream that he's currently streaming. Judgment of how it... But he has changed the title to getting trolled. So he's like, I, he's aware, obviously. Events went down, maybe? Oh, he's not uh, live? This is his vibe. Does he feel bad for yeah, him? Yeah, it's possible. Okay. Uh, the conversation kind of running in circles, but, uh,. Right. I think uh, uh, I think you've probably you've probably done. I'm gonna finish. I guess I think that, my point. Today. Yeah, I think you can. But like, so, it's, this uh, is like wait, have, real quick. This is like. Can I finish my point? Can okay. I have like a concluding statement? Go for it. So I just did this as an experiment to see how easy I could. Oh my god! I Was it a troll the entire her, time? So, yep, nothing to do with her. And I think you really need to fact check more. <laughs> Listen, I just wanted to comment. Okay. <laughs> I, mean, I, I really think you need to be more rigorous with letting people on stream. So I so I like to try and do this and. So that was successful, so. Well, good job. Uh, thank you <laughs> for the- uh, what I said is bullshit. That's so. what you think happened, dude? <laughs> thank you for the 10,000 view stream. Uh, we appreciate oh, you fucking high? <laughs> Are no, you fucking crack? No, Tom, no! Wait, did I get some, please? Give it to me. I have nothing to do with her. I mean, you can ask her. <laughs> I never even met her in my life, so. I think I just saw Destiny's video, and I'm like, yeah, I think that would make some good content, so. That's why I did it. <laughs> well, I'm glad that I get to spend more time with my friend, Turkey Tom, so. Thanks for bringing us together. So. Oh hey, you're welcome. God. Bye. Oh my god. I'm just watching fifty thousand dollars get flushed down the toilet. Oh she's my making god. That sick video. Dude, that guy has no fucking brain. <laughs> what do you mean? What the fuck is going on, dude? What is going on? This is crazy. What is wrong with these people? Is it just because they're young? But I'm young and I feel like I'm not that dumb, but maybe I am. I no. Know. Wait, are you do you think he wasn't a troll? Or... He's a troll? What do you mean? No Wait, do no you think way. Oh, you think that you think all of that was real and then it Dude, there's no, there's no, he, <laughs> if he is, I mean, he fucking owned us, but I feel like there's no way. <laughs> He's a troll? What the fuck are you talking about? I don't, no. <laughs> I feel like if he knows Vosh, if the guy said he was 20, I guess it's possible. You should just make a video anyway, see what happens. There's I had no a, uh, I will say that I had a conversation. No I had he, a he knew, he knew details about it. I had a conversation about, um, did you oh, ever watch with like three years ago? It was like, me and like a few 15 or 16 year olds and Mr. Girl. Did you ever see this conversation? Um, it was like a couple high school no. people were basically trying to like me too, some 17 year old who was like awkwardly flirting with like a 15 year old in the same high school. And it was just like, it was an unbelievably stupid fucking conversation. And it, this felt the exact same. So this guy was trolling. I give him props. The fact you knew about the Vosh thing makes me think he is like, I don't know. I feel like if he's one of Katie's friends, there's no way they would come on stream. He didn't know either until the chat saved him. No, the chat didn't save him. He gave the reveal. The guy literally said I was trolling, and then he went, "Oh fuck!" Like, yeah, like he figured it out in real time. Which is why was the weird. guy got to do his reveal. He got to do his whole bit, and then reveal that he had no idea who the girl was. The chat didn't know either. It out. So now that I'm thinking about it, maybe you're right. But holy shit, it would be a pretty big lack of candor. 
It would be pretty dumb. I think it was just, I think it was an epic. I think it was an epic troll. Turkish Tom. Bro, you guys gotta stop coping. That dude was a troll. <laughs> I didn't know that was coming. That caught me off guard. Hold on, Tom's coping over here. Okay, I, Dude, totally I can't. I just it. can't accept it. I can't accept it. I don't know, man. Towards the end, now that Destiny says it, when he knows about Bosch. Dude, Mudahar came out of nowhere. Probably. Yeah, I think I, when he did mention the Bosch thing, I was like, wait, he knows who Bosch is? Because I thought he wasn't. He was also a little too retarded. Like it was a little easy, you know. Well, I don't know. Too that's that, that's a hard one because kids are pretty retarded. It's ironically how most of, how most of her friends think and stuff about this, but. Yeah, but I mean, like, you're around that same age, and you're not, like, retarded like that. I don't know if it's like, a mind. Tom is thing. exceptionally smart. This is a bright young kid over here. Oh, That's why I had to put him through the troll ringer. Okay, me and that other guy, we actually, we actually right planned now. this out together. <laughs> I knew that Tom was going to come on and take the bait, so good job, friend. Uh, other guy who I'm uh, actually working with. So, so I, I don't know what's what's going. On. Like, is this just like tickling? Is that the uh, is that the extent of the uh, allegation? All right, we don't need to hear any more of this. But Jesus Christ, Tom, 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 bro, are you okay? Oh, he called me. I'm. So oh wait, he tried to call me to stop me from talking about this on stream. No, he tried to call a half hour ago. <laughs> oh no! I'm calling him back. I don't think he's gonna answer. Is he live? I don't know. Oh no! Oh man! I'm calling him. He's not answering. Is he mad at me? Oh fuck! Where's Tom Dark? Is he live? Let me see. No, he's not. I had my Discord disabled. I didn't know. I didn't burn a bridge. I wrote back tomb. I don't know if you can answer. Oh man. So that was that was what I was going live to talk about tonight. I'm not gonna lie. When I turned on the stream, I thought we were just gonna watch that and that was gonna be like the whole stream. Uh and then we we're just gonna play video games and chill. But obviously uh, the content gods uh, had a different plan. They had, they had a different idea of what was going to happen tonight. Do we have anything else we want to talk about? Because that's the docket. We're clean on the docket. Um, oh, Luna Lizzie, thank you for sending me the, uh, the Aiden pick. Uh, we could talk a little bit about Tipster. <laughs> Let's talk about Tipster. Um, let me here and then hit that and then hit this okay so i'm latinx maxing right now oh tom's calling in a second okay so dude did you see this so keffel's put out a thing calling willie like a harasser by the way this is all because moon is making his video right but a whole thread calling willie a harasser because she only addresses her gofundme shit like the potential scam gofundme shit um on her fucking instagram not instagram her uh her patreon paywalled live streams so she's like this is really creepy i blocked him twice he's dm me consecutively to get more dirt this feels creepy meanwhile in the past content creators this person who, who says they're like a black trans person was like this is harassing me why is this person going on my patreon and it's like keffels has pledged with three dollars canadian like she's literally joined other people's patreons to go and gather dirt for videos before and then this is keffels when she got oh my god oh my god you joined my patreon oh my god like oh what a fucking freak dude what a freak oh man um dude holy shit a non-bird the debate whether or not died. she mentioned that there was cuddling going on Oh no. Yeah, Tom is live on Destiny's stream debating about George not found. It's so over, chat. Um Yeah, so Boogie and Tipster are fighting. Is there anything else before because I want to talk to Tom before I uh before I talk a little bit about young tip young tip and the boys. Um uh, yeah, we're at that. 
Anthony Fantano. Yeah, I'm smarter than Destiny, and that's not even a flex, because most people are. The only people dumber than Destiny are his fans. Yeah, I probably shouldn't read the Fantano tweet after we just played that troll. Oh, it's Tomb. Hey, young Tomothy. Hey, man. Just want to come on here and talk about my uh, my experience. Um, I heard you got big raped, Tom. I got mind raped. You got dude. mind raped. What happened to me is way worse than what happened to Katie. I think I said I mean, that on this. I it's true. Screen, it is way worse than what happened to Katie. I agree with you there. Literally, like, I I was, like, mind fucked. Dude, I don't know if I'm going to come dude, back. You, like, you had, like, a solid five minutes of not knowing what the fuck happened. I mean, like, no, no, no. It wasn't a troll. No, we were, no, no. Well, he not... said that, and I, my eyes are kind of glazed over, and my brain refused to accept it, so I just kind of passed over it. <laughs> and I was like, good debate. Good debate, you know, buddy. That was really good. I mean, movie. it was funny, but looking back, like his responses were too good. It was just kind of a layup. <laughs> it was way too good. He was like, yeah, walked dude, into every fucking I'd be trap. friends with a rapist. <laughs> That's what he I said. guess I, I guess I just assumed that because Steve had him on, he was like, he like vetted him, and then I was like, you vetted him, right? He was like, oh no. god, you and have the like, Steve, Never mind. you have the Steve disease. Dude, I have the fucking Lav had this like yeah. Steven, Steven, no Steven, I disagree with you or whatever. The everyone Steve, calls him, what you, this is name. Everyone talk everyone calls him Destiny until they talk to him. Do you know how cringe it is just saying Steven. Destiny out loud, dude? Do you call me Turkey Tom? Yes. Yes, well, well that sucks. I call, dude, I called Bo Blacks, Bo Blacks to his face. What what like I call him Josh? Okay, but like you don't say Turkey, you say Tom, not Turkey. Well, yeah, Tom. but your name has Tom in it. Destiny's isn't Well, well Des maybe his name should be it's fucking not, not Des Steven. Steven or something. Yeah, it's not Des Steven. Maybe it should be Des Steven. <laughs> dude, Des Steven. Like like Desiree or whatever. It's like a black name, <laughs> Des Steven. Yeah, Did you like the fact I brought up gorilla mode? I got just had to throw that in dude, there. You're like, yeah, if I gorilla mode whip my dick out and rape somebody in the streets, would you say that I'm a friendly Well, person? I almost forgot to say gorilla mode but then i was like i need to bring it up how can i shove it in okay rape how can i shove it in well mode. you could go gorilla mode exactly and i think that's a valid reason to do that i mean you've quite you're gonna sell gorilla mode merch <laughs> well gorilla mode is the name of more place more dates so, you know you should have so. someone draw you as danny phantom but instead it's of going ghost i'm going gorilla and like the bottom half of you has like fucking like gorilla <laughs> legs that would be fucking epic dude that would be that like would be insane actually merch, legendary. or at least fan art. Did you see the Wojak that they made of Destiny? I did. Honestly, I didn't even recognize it as him at first, but then I saw the cut thing. And <laughs> dude, I was like, okay, dude well, his jaw was dropped, he, and he called you a Jedi. Well, yeah, he called a debate Jedi. What the fuck is that? Debate Jedi. Literally, oh, like oh, Icarus, I'm... Icarus, and everyone starts tweeting out like Tom's having the best debate of of anyone's fucking career. He's literally destroying this kid. I'm like, you know what? I am kind of destroying this Wait kid. Wait a minute. And then, literally five minutes later, just gets ripped away from me. Oh, dude, I'm so sorry. I totally forgot that you're a zoomer. Okay, so a couple like a like a really long time ago, this movie came out called A New Hope, and that's and there were these people in them called dude, Jedi. Fuck off! I know what. Dude. <laughs> A new fucking rape is what I need. <laughs> you need a new one, dude. You just got to start over. A new story. You gotta make new, some money. New rape November, dude. Well, I said I go, my forecast is the next few days. There's going to be another sexual assault to talk about. Um, there has to be one, right? Like We've a, had like six in a row. I, I'm the like. rape weatherman. There's going to be a new one on Tuesday. Did you see there was literally, one Literally, we had, we had rape. Shovel, and then we had another accusation against Wilbur, Wait. and then we had George Not Found. So there's got to be like, and then we had the two mad document. So now like we are we are due for something. We're Dude, due for a, a, cum so a cumulus. Isn't it so funny rape. though that she that shovel or whatever put her statement out, and then this fucking clout demon Katie comes out and goes like, "I didn't know we were allowed to make videos on stuff like this until Katie came forward. So thank you, Katie, for giving me the strength to steal all of the clout in the room and absorb it for myself. And now no one's talking about Wilbur, dumb bitch. Guess what? what i'm katie and i have attracted all of the cloud <laughs> like that's, that's literally what just happened dude. it's crazy. literally like the syndrome thing it's gonna be like when everyone's raping no one will be <laughs> yeah, dude it's like it's a symptom of a much larger problem <laughs> <laughs> it definitely is yeah i don't know i mean it was a fun stream regardless but yeah definitely was uh I was thinking like, oh, this is gonna get clipped on the channel, nice. And then I was like, yeah, it well, is. Now it's it really not gonna is. get clipped on the channel, nice. And then, dude, you went from getting clipped on the channel to being covered on Scuffed Rape Review. I mean, I'm I'm honored to be on, you know. I'm honored to be on any episode of URR, to be fair, whether I'm the this subject was not or whatever as bad the case as is. George's apology. George's apology was still worse than this. His new video? Yeah. <laughs> I haven't actually watched it. He he. All right, so here's the nuke. Right. He proves without a shadow of a doubt that katie like fabricated evidence 
like that screenshot of his friend supposedly saying that like like checking up on her and seeing that if uh, she was okay after the party was not from the friend like that's and then and, and then claiming, let me guess after that he's like but i completely see why she came from the perspective yes yes and she he even says while proving that she fabricated evidence saying <laughs> it's possible she just didn't understand who she was talking to or she got her people mixed up or something mm. he's, he, he apologizes to her for the power dynamic of their size bruh he apologizes the me? whole time and he like definitively like he shadow boxes. He proves that he's a hundred percent right and apologizes every step of the way. My chat voted twelve hundred votes. Um fifty two percent said Katie wins, even though she's wrong. By like how many apologies he offered. That's fucking epic, dude. Honestly, but, at this point they deserve it, whatever. Just so, so but here's you. the actual timeline of events. Are you ready? Um, Katie comes out with her second statement, the one that responded to George's video, and yeah. George sees that his close friend, who is still anonymous, by the way, she announced this anonymous source that supposedly reached out to Katie. So in this time frame, he goes, oh my God, I was wrong. Now my friend is even saying that I'm an abuser. So I'm thinking of right. this differently. So he rushes and posts that Twitter statement. And then him and Dream talk and Dream's like, oh my God, I fucked up. Even our mutual friend has gone out of his way to say that we're wrong. Holy shit. I need to go do a Twitter space. So then Dream got on Twitter and cried. And then one of them thought, wait a minute. We have phones. We can call him and ask so then Genius. they call and ask him, and he goes, dude, what? I didn't say that. That's not even me. And they went, wait, I just conceded, and Dream just cried. I and think we just have to accept that these people are like actually low IQ individuals. Dude, wait, wait, so then, so then, after that, right, then George starts working on this video, and... <laughs> And then he comes out and he goes, by the way, guys, uh, my bad for conceding. I thought that my friend said something that I like. He literally did all of that without even fact checking if his own personal close friend reached out to Katie. Like, because he didn't, he just assumed they wouldn't lie about it. Like, is this not like the worst shit you've ever heard? I mean, it's, it's. It is the worst shit, but also at this point, like, it's everything's just shit. I've just accepted that these people will never, like, be Dude, able to stand but up these for guys cared more audiences. about their public perception to address their audience before they fact checked the fucking allegations against themselves. That's how stupid they are, though. Like that's how dumb this shit is. Oh man, that is that's almost more embarrassing than being a fucking rapist. Uh, yeah. I mean, I say I'd rather be going gorilla mode regularly than that. <laughs> it's just like wow. Oh you know? god. So if you think that you had it bad today, buddy, you had it like this guy won his drama objectively and he's being voted the loser because he's such a fucking pandering loser. But isn't that like how the Minecraft community runs, basically? Yeah, I mean, even when Dream came out fans, and like disproved the pedo back. allegations, nobody let go. You know yeah, what I mean? no, but like at that point, that's where you go, oh, okay, well, I need to start making new fans and not pander to these people. And then these people are like, no, I can, I can change their mind. I can, I can get them back. I can get them back. Like, it's like, no, no, they all think you're an abuser now. Um, anyone who is looking at this whole, why is that guy flying? Anyone who is looking at this situation, oh my God. What the fuck is that? Sorry, I'm fortniting right now really hard. Um, anyone who looked at this situation and thought cuddling with sexual assault is not somebody that you're gaining back under any circumstance. It's not happening. No, you never you never really had them in the first place is the true thing. Bro, I just killed Zeus! Fortnite's I good. Died. I fucking died. I killed Zeus. The new season is really good. Uh, I died. I'm so mad. But yeah, this is so cancer. I'd rather be poor than a gay soy Minecraft YouTuber. So true. So true, 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 true. Dude, Tom wanted to be friends with these people. That's why we started the community SMP. And he's like, God, these guys are so cool, dude. Yeah, dude. I wanted to hang out with Dream. I was hoping he would pick us up and we would finally make it out the hood, you know? Dude, what are your thoughts on Tipster? Did you see? He tweeted out tonight, everyone loves the goth mommies. But what about the goth daddies? Daddies need love. Is he the goth daddy? No, he's- Or is he just trying to have so gay he's sex? he's been teasing that he's gay for like the past month. Like, he's been putting little gay breadcrumbs in his tweets and stuff like that. Right. There was, like, three tweets I saw where he's <laughs> talked about, like, how he's a little bisexual now or something. Um, so we're, like, on step one before he transitions. 
What well, do you think? I'm personally years? excited. Do you think that Kefels has been sending him hormones against his parents' consent? No, he's too old for Kefels to send him hormones. He's way too old. Yeah, he's only freshly 40. Dude, what I wonder is, like, how do people in Tipster's real life feel about this shit? Um, well, his wife... Like, do they know? Like, Tipster would give his wife the HRT whether she wanted it or not. I'm kidding. That's a fucking... That is a meme. Dude, that, that's what he referred to with the tip. <laughs> the tip was... Yeah, the tip was Just the, tip the, tip. the HRT needle, bro. Yes. Um, <laughs> I don't know, dude. Oh, God. Bro... I, I mean, Keemstar already said it on stream. I'll, you know, I don't want to say this. I would just say that, like, as an like an employed person, I wouldn't make the arguments Tipsters made about stuff. It's, like, an insane thing to do. No, obviously. Yeah. But also, like, I mean, they've already hired this retard, so somehow somehow they came to the conclusion he was good to hire, right? <laughs> Are you Apriling? Are you pretty hype about April? Dude, I'm extremely hype about April. There's big plans. April's coming, dude. It's like winter big, big in plans. Game of Thrones. Only this last season won't be a letdown. I personally am very excited. I think it's going to oh, be a good season. Wait, you think I'm season. talking about April? Like, it's going to be like, a lot of fun. Oh, no, not, not... Oh, I accidentally leaked that we're doing something in April. I don't think I told them what it was yet, but I leaked that we're doing something. Not that part. I'm talking about Keffel's April. I mean, I'm excited for, for everything. You're live, right? Yeah. Okay, I thought so, yeah. Wait, yeah, I mean, the, the April... No, no, I knew. I just, I didn't know how much I could talk about. I oh, yeah, sure. I leaked that. I didn't leak the topic, but I leaked that we're doing a video. Well, videos. It's going to be good. Yeah. Uh, the guy who gets stuff done has a bunch of his stuff done already, actually. I'm pretty Very much ready. Good. Very good. I am in the middle of finishing this other thing, but I will be ready to start on April 1st. I'm getting this thing out. Um, nice. It's funny because, like, I don't know. I really liked working with you and doing some stuff with uh, H3H3, so it's nice to return to form, I guess. Yeah, dude. The H3 thing, can you believe that was like four years ago? Yeah, that was a... Uh, dude, we got so lucky because we set out to organically make an H3 video. And like the day before we released it, the content nuke situation, like it, the video literally drops. And we were like, oh, oh yeah, cancel whatever. We I, w I wouldn't say, I wouldn't, I wouldn't discount the fact that we might get lucky this time. Do you think? Dude, I mean, with the guy we're talking about, or girl. Yeah, or yeah I mean, it could happen too. I mean, we'll there's see. always something going on, right? Yeah, it'll be funny. With, with so the, I think with I think there's definitely potential that we're talking. No, I'm kidding. Um, <laughs> with Zer. With Zer, yeah. Zer, yes. But yeah, I'm uh, I'm pretty happy with uh, how things are going. Did you see a uh, fucking tipster got goblin mode by Boogie when he got mogged today? Oh wait, wait before <laughs> did we talk he? What about happened? That, I thought I was speaking Zoomer for a second, so. The message, like in the George video, is like, "I'm coming to the Hayat," and I it looked like ga like Gat, like Gat, right? Gat, yeah, coming like, to the like, Gat. And I'm like, "Oh shit, dude, is that more Zoomer speak, guys? What does Gat mean?" And they're like, "They were staying at the Hyatt, Nick." <laughs> and I was like, "Oh fuck!" Like the Hyatt Hotel chain. Yeah, that's what I read it as. <laughs> you read it as the Gat. <laughs> I it was, dude, I was staying at the Hyatt. <laughs> Latina Hyats. Oh man, I'm, dude, are we just, staying at the Latina Hyat for VidCon? Dude, I keep watching too much Zoomer fucking YouTube shorts. This, this is a problem. This is bad. That was the fact that like I saw a Y in a word, and I'm like, oh okay. That's I'm glad Zoomer. it's like rubbing off on you though. You saw you saw two T's. The two T's were what's really yeah sold. yeah the two T's and the Y. And I'm like, oh fuck, dude. I'm gonna vandalize the the Hyat to say <laughs> Yacht when I go there. It'll be beautiful, dude. Let's, I, it, this whole thing is so wild. Uh, I like again. What do you think about what should happen to Katie? Do you think Katie should be like bullied off the internet? Or I mean, I think uh, career ruination probably. Yeah. Like she's undateable, right? Like how could you possibly date somebody who's done this? I mean, you say that, but I have a feeling there's a lot of guys pining. Oh, my whole chat's like I could fix her. Like all of you guys are gonna get accused of rape. Like it's 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 so jobber. But like yeah. I don't get it. But then I, we have content about them, right? Yeah, then we get to have content. We can you yourself can like self insert into the story. We can talk about you next. Uh, yeah, literally, my chat. Okay, stop, stop, stop. I, I explained to my chat about the three drama recently. I thought the self insertion was more of a gorilla mode type thing, like when you insert. Jesus Christ! You know, dude. It happens. Have you played the new Fortnite season? Yeah, it's great, dude. It's fucking epic. I don't really, I can't really tell the difference. It's just got lightning bolts. Bro, there's wings. You can fly. Are you kidding? I mean, yeah. 
What do you mean? I mean, yeah, you can fucking fly like a bird. This is what I've wanted know, my entire dude. life. After I'm Turkey Tom, two, a flightless like, bird. I wanted to fly my entire this life. Game feels like the thing is, Fortnite just feels really good. It's got like perfect mechanics. I really like how the combat feels. Like all the the trans, like what is it? The the moving and stuff like that. The uh, what do you call that? The um, whatever the fuck. The movement I mean, is fantastic in this game. I'll just say it like that. Um, everything just feels really good. Now it just feels like minor updates or whatever, where they just add random new features that aren't really super impactful every season right they up the graphics like this game is just really good now i heard there's some shit going on with plagued moth i guess he made some video about how people made him lose his job some some sort of pedophile made him lose his job i don't know what he's talking about or what he's referring to but uh it seems like a saucy My situation knowledge on plague moth is i watched half of one of your streams about him I have otherwise. Someone. It's kind of like uh, it's kind of like the most interesting, boring drama ever because there is good stuff in there, but like there's just like thirty people who have been talking about it for five years straight and won't stop. So it's just like a lot. Yeah. Somebody in my chat was like, "Why are you covering this drama?" I go, "I don't really care about it," or something like that. I don't know why people want me to cover it. And then the slime guy saw it on Twitter, I guess, and someone sent me his tweet, and he's like, "Who the fuck wants Nick Diorio to cover this anyway? Who gives a fuck what that guy has to say?" I'm like, "I was reading a dono. Like, I don't." Yeah, I mean, he does seem to have some legitimate beef with Moth, so he has he has like a he has a point. Sure, but to be after honest, he said I haven't that, looked deep I into was it. just like, oh, okay, so I'm never gonna cover this ever on my channel and ever. You're like, all. all right, Mr. Gay, you're yeah, out of the I was, equation. I was like, all right, well, good luck. You know, <laughs> I don't know. Literally, that's literally all it takes. Someone says something like that, I'm like, oh, okay, so I'm never gonna interact with this again. Cool. Exactly. He's he's blackballed. Well, not really. I never said I wouldn't interact with him, but I would never. He's black moth from bald from URR. He's black moth. He's plague moth. He's gorillaed. Oh, I'm gonna fucking. Oh, did you see I mixkilleted somebody? I did. You looked sick, dude. Dude, by the way, if you want to use mixkillet's car, you can. It's in the Fortnite item shop. You can use code Diorio, and I gotta kick. This is a McLaren, car. right? Dude, I have the black <laughs> McLaren. This is literally mixkillet's car he used to kill that. Base. Family. He was a. Uh... I mean, he kind of went off, you know. He came up in the two mad drama. That was the funniest part. I was the only part of the drama I cared about. It's funny because it's like it's been like a meme to us for like four years. And it's been a meme it's been recently, a... like after two mad. Well, died, recently it got brought back up though. again. Yeah, because it's like it's like it's just insane. Because they added the fucking car. Ever since they added, and then the two mad is literally literally just drops. He's like, oh, I kind of feel like McSkillet, you know. No, but he's <laughs> done that like... before we started joking about it again like that that was just something that was on his mind it's totally random that this showed back up or whatever yeah in this situation i've been uh writing my two mad video actually uh today i i probably wrote six thousand words of it um it's uh do you sleep how the fuck do you get that much done um well i stayed up till 4 a.m playing uh, cod zombies with wendigoon so no uh, <laughs> <laughs> which one by the way but, good zombies or bad zombies Black Ops, dude. Which Black Ops one? One, yeah. Which map? Five. What? What do you mean what? You had me until you said five. How do you play five? Five is so good, night? dude. Five. Well, we didn't just play five. We played Darius. We played Kino. We played Verrucked. We Bro, played if you're gonna get all the way on Black Ops, play Call of the Dead. That map is fucking fire. Isn't Call of the Dead Black Ops two? No, Call of the Dead is like the only map that wasn't remade from Black Ops One. It's the one where you can get like the Wonder Waff when you kill George Ramiro. And Wait, I swear, I swear that was Black Ops Two. Hold on, it Call is Black Ops Dead. One, bro. You you are not gonna do this to me right now. Black Ops Two is all of the transit type maps, like all of the uh, all the ones. Yeah. Where you oh yeah, you're right. Call of the Dead. Call of the Dead is the trenches one, right? Um, maybe. There's it's like a, the there's like map. systems of trenches. That no, you that's Origins. That's Black Ops Two. Oh. That's Call my favorite one. All the Dead is the big pillar. By the way, uh, that's oh, in BO3 oh, as well. Oh, oh. Origins is in BO3 and in BO2. I like, oh, Ascension is good. Ascension is fire. Ascension is fire. But Call of the Dead is fucking great. How, you've never played Call of the Dead if you don't know it. If you, you don't know the one where you have to kill George Romero and you're on a movie set? Like, by I a, honestly don't think I've played it. Oh, fuck, dude. Don't play the remade one in BO4. That one sucks. Mob of the Dead was good. Mob of the Dead was very good, yes. Blood of the Dead was not. Um, Blood of the Dead was very bad. It was a remake of Mob in BO4. <laughs> Uh, I didn't play BO4. I played Good, 1 don't. and 2 and Zombies on 3, and that was it. Uh, you should give a try to Cold War Zombies. It's fun. It has, like, mechanics of, like, modern Warzone stuff, and the, the maps are pretty good. Is it still, like, basically the same thing, like, barriers and whatever? Um, the first map is a remake of Nocturne Toten, where you have outdoors and stuff, and it's snowy, and it's got, like, a bunch <laughs> of shit going on. That map is really fun. I used to stream it all okay. the time. Uh, I would oh, yeah, I remember that. that. Yeah, that's a pretty fun one.
Okay, cool. All right, maybe I'll check that out then. Yeah. Um, the too mad thing is, uh, I have a feeling what's going to happen is a lot of people because of James Key's document, they're going to come out and try to like defend too mad and like his character and be like, he was just a misunderstood schizo man. Um, yeah, I don't. I think I. Th- I think the real story is like too mad, like bad dude, crazy dude, narcissist, like literally thought he was going to murder people. Like he, like he didn't seem to trust his own intentions to that point. Like. So I I don't think you can defend him. I don't think he's a pedophile is the one thing. Mm-hmm. And uh, James Key should get shit for that. But I guess my video is more about Too Mad as a whole than just the allegations. So I don't want to get too lost in the sauce there. Um, but there is an interesting, very interesting story with Too Mad. Um, I feel like he's uh, he's kind of a YouTube Hall of Famer. And I feel like nobody's really recognizing him as that and i aim to i mean to, one uh, time i tweeted too mad isn't very funny and he got really fucking mad at me apparently was that like, in the past the year it was private no this was like three years ago i said hot take i don't think too mad is very funny and <laughs> apparently someone was talking that knew too mad i'm not gonna name drop him to tommy and then they brought that up as an example of when too mad would go fucking crazy really you got that mad at you i didn't know it until this like recently that he got really mad about that Today I was uh I was writing about the old beef with James Key, which is pretty funny. Um oh, it's not yes. as cut and dry as people think, but a big part of it was basically like they were selling Too Mad videos. wouldn't hang out with James Key and was like ghosting him, and so James Key was like he calls anything for views and he's like, dude, why is Too Mad such an asshole? And then Too Mad is like, You're pretending to be Russian, Baba Booey, and then it just like escalates from there. But like a large a large crux of the problem was literally just like Too Mad would like go somewhere and James Key would be there. And there's like this literal quote from James Key's document where James Key's like, want to hang out? And then Too Mad says, sex immediately and ghosts him for two days. <laughs> like, <laughs> Yeah, we, we read this on After Hours where it was like, James Key wouldn't go bowling with me. And we started making like Nico Bellic re- uh, memes and stuff like that. <laughs> I mean, too, too Mad wouldn't go bowling with me. And he put this whole fucking document out or whatever. And he just sounded yeah, like exactly. a total fucking retard. If anything, I just think this James Key guy is a totally fried, broken brain retard. Um, yeah, I mean, the thing is, I wouldn't say that they are on the same level, but something Gokunaru oh, no, said to me that was... Oh, no, not on the same level. They're different. They're different. Uh, I would yeah. say Too Mad is way worse than James Key, but James Key is someone well, who I he, think is just he, too dumb to function in a general setting. He is, but I think they're, um, they're sort of polar opposites. Gokunaru was making this point to me, and I, uh, I'll just steal it from him because it's right. Um, Too Mad and James Key are, like, polar opposites, end of the spectrum, where Too Mad, like, cares about nothing, has no... Well, I'd say almost no morality, probably. Um, doesn't really give a shit about literally anything. Like, just totally apathetic. And James Key cares about everything. He cares yeah. about every interaction. He's extremely socially aware and conscious. And, like, little slights piss him off. So, like, a lot of the problem that he had with Too Mad was that they would do Rainbow Six Siege tournaments, and Too Mad would be, like, uh, making fun of his accent, just being like, you sound like a terrorist or whatever, because he's, you know, Too Mad. And then James Key was like, you're making fun of my PTSD, which from childhood trauma does disturb me. Like, that kind of thing, basically. Um, was, like, a large part of their beef. Um, where they were just having banter, and James, like, took it very seriously. Um, well, he's just actually, tur- uh, autistic. Yeah. So I, I tweeted at James Key before the document came out, right? Um, and I was like, Hey, like, do you want to do an interview or something? And he ended up actually messaging me, which surprised me. Yeah, he, and he told was like, you Hey man, the, uh, thing. he was going to put out a statement, right? Yeah. He told me the document was coming soon. And I was like, all right, cool. Well, looking forward to that. So he puts it out. He sent it to me specifically. and was like, here it is. Um, like in a DM. And I was like, thanks. I'll have a look today. And then I told him I was going to do a stream and ask him for an interview. And then after the stream, I was like, actually, I think a private call would be better because I think the document could go really bad for you. Uh, and whatever the truth may be about Too Mad, I think that you you this should have been done differently. And I think that if you if you really think Too Mad is guilty of this stuff, you have to release some of it. Um, you have to release proof he's a pedophile or something. And I got no response. So yeah, um, going to give him benefit of the doubt that maybe he's offline after schizophrenically so, writing this document over a few days. But possible. if he doesn't respond soon, like I just don't know. I, here's what I think happened. This is what we're going to find out is true in like six months or like two years. I'm <laughs> guessing that he was so fucking like spur, like he was so schizo after Too Mad died that he went and he said like a bunch of shit that it's not his position to share. And now he has to go and prove it because people are pushing back on him and he's probably gone to these people that he's supposedly defending saying hey can i show this and they're like no 
I don't want yeah. this shown. Why the fuck did you say it? So now he's put in a position where he has to try to prove everything he said, but he doesn't necessarily have support from the people who who know, who know the information, who he can prove it from. I, I When people say, like, why wouldn't you show something like that? It's probably because he's talked himself into a hole, and now these people don't want to, like, have to then... Uh, announce themselves how to unjane doe themselves just so this guy can look a little bit better on social media but my main question fault. is like is like what are the details of these people what are their allegations who are yeah they? but he like, can't what, give like that, what went on like it would be because i don't i don't understand what that. james key's preponderance of evidence like expectation is for someone to be a pedophile or be grooming you know what i mean like i don't know what what that means to him yeah, but let's just because obviously for one, one second right let's just say for one second um that like he the too mad is a pedophile let's say like hypothetically speaking he's a pedophile yeah um, now that james key has said this he can't give an example because if he gives an example he has to tell somebody's story who doesn't want to be involved who's probably made it very clear he doesn't want to be involved i say that as if i know something right wrong. that's now, I that is a very that. real possibility. So yeah. that would be the one thing you could get from him in an online or offline setting. It's like, what would you describe? <laughs> because for the most part, people were just speculating that the girl was like, what was she, like um, 19 or 18 or something like that. And that's the girl that he was, uh, that the he Goldie was, Bell like, girl? Yeah, it wasn't, wasn't it like a girl? Who was well, like, the, the Goldie Bell girl, there were like random shitters on Twitter saying other things, but um, she was like basically his age. Like he was like 23, He she was like 20. So they were like the same age, yeah. right? Yeah. Um, the other thing, his his only evidence in the document for Two Mad being a pedophile is one, a few crazy tweets he made where he was like, "I'm gonna fuck a kid," which you know, obviously bad taste, off color stuff, but that's to be expected from Two Mad, right? Mm -hmm. um, and then the other quote unquote evidence he had was just some random screenshot of two unknown people talking, saying that they like added Two Mad on Hinge, and then he got their Instagram or something and then they talked, but uh, like no mention of age, oh no mention of God. anything. I don't even know who these people are. Like I have no idea what the fuck is going on. And also on, I'm pretty sure on a hinge, you, I think you probably have to be 18. Isn't that a dating app? Yes. Yeah. 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 I mean, so, it's still well, then that's the kid's fault. I assume, um, on that front, yeah, but you can't say, um, that, but yeah, you're right. So, yeah. So I don't know. It's like, uh, it's a tricky situation. I think that oh no matter what the case is, God. we're probably never going to find out whatever Tom, the fuck was going on behind the scenes. Can you be here in May? Can I be here? Can you be here in May? What is here? Like in New York. Uh, What's going on? Okay. Progressive Victory has just announced that Vosh will be canvassing in New York. <laughs> and I'm in the circle. Yeah, Do I can be Do you want to go canvassing with Vosh? Uh, I think some funny stuff could happen from... Dude, can we go Vosh canvassing with Vaj? Oh my god, bro, this is gonna be so funny. Can we hand out, like, horse posters? Bro, we gotta to get DGG the horses? merch. We gotta get DGG merch and we gotta go fucking... Oh, man, this is... Oh, this would be so cool. Gonna be the most autistic thing of all time. Yes. Yes. Like, literally, like we will look retarded to everyone but ourselves. Let's do it. Dude, we're gonna go for... We're gonna go with the horse porn guy and, and talk about... I thought you were gonna be like, fire. there's a UFC match, and then it's like, Vosh is coming. Dude, Vosh is coming. <laughs> the Vosh card is coming. <laughs> yeah, that'd be awesome. Oh my god. <laughs> Dude, because everyone's talking about it, saying they just literally booked a... Like, a fucking... Conve like, they booked the lolly convention with Vosh in New York. And I'm like, wait, no. Who the here. fuck agreed to do this? Progressive Victory. It's the people funding Vosh, Destiny, and apparently Wick. Why are they funding Vosh? Uh, this is the group... Like, this is the Brianna Wu thing, where she, like, secured... Do they not think it's probably a bad look after million. what happened? No, I don't... No, dude. Come on. Come on. Come on. Oh, this is, this is going to be so fun. We have to... Are they going to have to bring up... Is he going to be discussing, like, the short stack goblin referendum? Like, what's going on? <laughs> this is so good. So good. Oh no. Fucking we're, Vosh. Dude, we're, so, we're so back. We're so. I gotta see where this we is. We are back. It's in New York and New Jersey, and it looks like it's in like the city <laughs> or the. Uh, I mean, it looks like it's in fucking Long Island, too, based off the circle. I gotta. I, wait, we have to reach out, but we can't do this through like our own social media. You own. actually want to canvas? I just wanted to harass them. Dude, what's the difference? The canvassing is knocking on people's doors, harassing them. Can we knock on the canvassers' Here. doors? Can we canvass the canvassers? Here is the faqua. Do I need p uh, prior political experience? No. We will provide training before your first shift. <laughs> what should Whoa. I bring? Good shoes, lots of water, your phone, and a positive attitude. Could, could you imagine, though, we just show up in progressive victory shirts and we just take pictures actually canvassing at one point? Like, that would be... What if, can we just get pictures with Vosh? 
I just want to get a picture with him and then tweet out like you're a pedo with a selfie. Well, dude, something. come on. You can't say that. Then we're not going to get a picture. I'll just commit identity. They don't know my name. My name Bro, fucking. This will be our big victory jo Jormbo. lap. Jormbo. My, my real name series. is Jormbo, so it doesn't matter. This will be our big victory lap after we post our series. Everyone will forget until like we say it then. Oh, this will be great. It'll be it'll be literally legendary, dude. Um, what accommodations can I expect? We will provide as much financial assistance to volunteers as acceptably within our first come first serve fundraising budgets for hotel rooms. <laughs> Wait, you'll pay for us to sleep there? We can, dude. Dude, dude, we can go. To, we can get paid overnight time at Vosh Horsecon. Oh my god, um, we have to go then. God knows the URR and you know Tom Dark streams aren't pulling in the big bucks. We can't even afford rent, so Where we gotta go. I look for an update. Email box. Discord, can we invite Daniel Larson? Streamer. Oh, he's is, homeless. Dude, can we invite can, Daniel Larson to Canvas? No, Grosscore lives in Canada. Grosscore, I believe, lives in England because he's fucking English. No, he's Canadian. And Daniel Larson is American. No, he's not. Daniel Larson's American. Grow score, I'm pretty positive, is in England. Bro, I do have Discord, yes. I'm so interested. Can you? Can I? Oh, my God, bro. We, we're signing up for this. We're signing up for this tonight. <laughs> we are signing up for this, okay? We're going to get invited, and we're doing this. Um, it's going to, like, be bad. Smaggle, is there a chance that I can come? <laughs> I think you have to come. I think you have to. you got to be our like our canvassing team i think i think you have to be there knock knock it's, could you imagine if you knock on the door you're like god i get these fucking canvassers out of my neighborhood and you open the door and you see me smaggle and turkey tom looking at you being like i would like to talk to you about president joe biden <laughs> <laughs> are you familiar with the save the horses initiative? Are you familiar? <laughs> do you know what short stack goblin porn looks like it looks good <laughs> We need to brigade the event. It looks amazing. Oh god, is where's Willie? Willie would love to be here for this. Oh man, that's a great question. Uh, I think Willie should be there. I think uh, Charm Skull should be there. Do we I think, need uh, aliases, or do you think they'll? Oh, dude, here's the thing. Like, well, we're er trans, so we can who's use a different running identity. this? Because if like if, if Erudite sees this shit, she's gonna know something's wrong. Dude, we're we're trans. Like, if this gets to, if Erudite's, like, the fucking person who's looking at all this, she's gonna be like, no, no, don't, don't invite these people. Um. I think it's gonna be epic, dude. What is my, what is my, so, uh, Jormbo is dude, my dead name. we can dress up like horses. Oh my god. Dude. Like, like, you could be the bottom of the horse, and then I could be the top of the horse, and we could show up. Why are you the top of the horse? You're the fat one. You should be the bottom of the horse. Dude, we don't we don't need the horse to have a fat ass, dude. What are we not trying to make Vosh? Dude, Vosh is going to get horny if the if the fat guy is the, the bottom of the horse. Plus, dude, if, you, you ever if, just see if a Vosh guy having gay control, sex, he's going to have gay sex with you, not me. You ever see a guy having gay sex and be like, man, what if that was me? No, never. Not even a little bit. Me neither. Apparently, your whole generation, as Destiny said, is bisexual now, so. Well, he would know. Yeah, he's dating them. He's dating them. He's <laughs> dipping his toes. I mean, I wouldn't say dating, but. You, know. <laughs> you could call it that in a sense. Oh, God. Dude, that was so funny today, though. Holy shit. You guys are good on stream together, though. I hope that you guys tag team a real person at some point. Or one of these yeah, that would be fun. The problem is that when he's debating a political girls. person, when he's dating a political person, it's like, what the fuck am I gonna say? Yeah, I said this to Chud today. I go, dude, the minute I understand politics, this community is so over, bro. But until then, I have no idea what I'm talking about. <laughs> yeah, I mean that's the thing. Like, I literally, I, I, I have no interest in it. I like when he, when I saw Katie Bug's friend, I was like, my dreams are fucking coming true. My asshole is fucking ready. And then literally an hour later, it's like I'm. I'm just talking about being mind raped, like. Dude, the Destiny's best streams are when he's talking about rape, because then at least we know what he's talking about. You know, as like big rape ex uh, experts like Turkey Tom is. You know. My question is: so we've had Minecraft allegations, right? We've had we had the two mad allegation. Where is the fucking Twitch allegation? There's got to be a new Twitch allegation sometime. I feel like it's been too quiet. Or maybe a new kick allegation you know that what? isn't just like an outright pedophile. We joke about the Fortnite community, and they're pretty clean. There's not like a lot of Fortnite pedos. There probably are some, and I just don't know. Should, People they, have been asking me to make the Fortnite degenerates for five years. Really? Yeah. Jesus. Because there's a lot of people who play Fortnite. 
bro. We love I mean, it's it. really popular. So there's got to be like five. Yeah, there's got to be at least five pedos. Yeah. I think if you use the M&M skin, you're probably a pedophile. Wait, you use the M&M skin. Wait a minute. Didn't you The have... weather's nice. Wait, in the last five years, didn't you have sex with one minor? Uh, definitely. <laughs> well, because you were underage five years ago. That's why I was asking. Yeah. <laughs> and last night, based. Um, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, I mean... uh. <laughs> Dude, I was retarded. I pulled up Anthony Fantano <laughs> calling Destiny a retard, like, right after the... um. Right after I watched you guys get trolled, that I was like, "Yeah, this guy's so dumb." And I'm like, "Wait a minute, it's probably not a good time to pull that tweet out." No, probably not a good no, time. Yeah, I could have pulled that up in any other. Seeing time. Fantano interact with Destiny is really, really funny. I it's would love to see them like, have a conversation. Well, didn't didn't you see like the last time they interacted? Like, <laughs> there was like the clip on Bernie's other channel where it's like, "Dude, Anthony Fantano just DM me that my debate with John Tron was good." <laughs> It's funny, right? Like, just randomly, like, dude, that was a really good debate you had. Years ago. Yeah. That's when Fantano was, like, turning into the, the Fantano we know and love now. That was, dude, to the Fantano, Fantano, we used Fantano to know was going love. year one of his tipster arc at that point. Fantano used to be hilarious. He used to be oh, really yeah, good. Oh, yeah, that's the difference between him and tipster. Fantano used to be hilarious. Fant tipster was never good. No, we just, for some reason, sucks. for some reason, he was just around. We tolerated him because you had to have, like, a quota of retards in your community that we've since, like, executed. There was always just a slot to fill because Augie couldn't bear to have less than five people on any stream at one point in time. So there was always just someone. Like, there was always, like, a flamenco or a tipster or there was, like, someone that had to be around, right? Yeah, but we, we were like, oh, we're not ableists. We're friends with tipster for, like, years, you know? <laughs> I wonder who, who the fuck else, like... I feel like I forget all these names from the community that just like left, but there's definitely like 30 names that were just like calling into streams regularly that just got nuked. Yeah. Well, after and the whole like, so they they thrived a bit during the Salvo era because it was like, oh, take your chat to work day on Keemstar's show. That's really what it was. It was take your chat to work day on the Keemstar show. And um, after all those people got annihilated and then Keemstar got like a normal cast of real people on Walcow. After that, the chat stopped being like normal cast around. You know what I mean? Well, yeah, the wall cow is a lot more normal than like bringing on. Remember I guess a regular cast, but Dude, yeah. Fucking Keemstar clickbaited Mudahar and brought on Abby Blackbird to their stream. <laughs> Dude, I didn't even know this. So Wendigoon told me last night. Do you know what happened with Wings's truck? Didn't somebody like deface it? No. So so Wings has a truck, right? Because he lives in the South. Everybody there drives a truck. Of course. And apparently one of his trolls called a local towing company and was like, hey, my truck is like having problems. I was hoping you could tow it to this place. I'm not going to be home at the time, so you can go there and just hook it up and take it. And so Wings wakes up one morning with no fucking truck. And so he's like do I just call the fucking police? Like, what the fuck do I do? My truck is just gone. And then come to find out that some, some troll from his chat had called a towing company and just had his truck removed from his property <laughs> <laughs> unknowingly when he like, wasn't there. That is so funny. Did he get it? Back? And he was on, he was on, apparently he was on loco. I was like, y'all just leave my fucking truck alone. Come after me. Leave the truck alone. <laughs> Wait, did, did he get his truck back? Yeah, I think he did. Yeah. Did you hear what happened with – so Wings – I can talk about this now because apparently it's public because someone in chat told me it was. But um, so fucking Mike Club Shitto, okay, literally fucking decided that he's going to be doing a video on um, – Mike who? Club Shitto. Who the fuck is Club Shitto? Mike Club Shitto. Who is this? I don't know, bro. He's an industry plant. I, I, call, like, I mix Mike Club with Glup Shitto. Um, oh. <laughs> Mike Klum is paying Boogie2988 to scream at EDP445 for a documentary. Now, that's not how I heard it went down, but I'll leave that for Mike's documentary. I heard that Boogie said something really stupid in it, but that's your teaser for Mike's documentary. Go watch it when it comes out. But fucking Mr. Klup Shitto <laughs> over here, right? Literally, bro, um, pays Boogie $2,000 to drive down and stay there and then film with EDP. And then he's telling this to Keem triumphantly. Like, yeah, I made like $2,000 fucking owning a pedophile. And Keem goes, wow, that's crazy. How much money did you spend to get there? And he goes, oh, about $2,000. Dude, this is the awesome thing about Boogie. Like, 
every he every win is he always a loss secretly <laughs> yeah he he thought he lost uh, he thought he made money until he called keem and realized he'd actually he lost. somehow doesn't understand like money in money out like yeah basic addition is just evaded him for his entire life it's oh god that's just dude this guy literally got paid in fast food that's what <laughs> happened yeah they just paid him in big macs I see people in chat talking about people that uh, left the community. Lionad, I mean, that's a that's a deep cut. Um, Lionad deserved it. That guy literally deserves everything that happens to him when his girlfriend accuses him of rape again. Well, but I talked to him on Discord not that long ago. Oh, he seemed okay. Um, Mitchell Mitchell Clump. Wait, didn't he have to go? To, um, didn't he get like arrested or something and then have to? Like, no, go, I think that, he, I he think that's not court. true. No, he had to go to court. He did have a. Court I messaged date. him at some point. I think, and he said that's not true. He confirmed to us that he had a court date because his girlfriend accused him of abuse. No way. I do not believe that. Yep. I literally don't believe that. It happened. And then, by the way... You get that from John. Do you know... No. But do you know that he literally fucking went out of his way, right? And he he joined a call, and he told her, like, we're all doing the right thing or whatever with his stupid girlfriend, right? And then he leaves or whatever. He doesn't talk to us anymore. And he pops back up again, like, 12 months later, and he goes, you know, Nick, what you did to my girlfriend was really fucked up. <laughs> You know, you could have driven her to suicide, right? You should be more careful with your channel. And I'm like, faggot. Really? Really? You're the one who was there. You could have stopped me. You could have said anything. You said I had the green light to go do it. Or did you not tell your girlfriend that you knew that she was about to get blown off the internet? Oh, my bad. I'll tell her if you want. Um, but yeah, he snaked me like that. Fuck that guy. Base, dude. Ugh. Well, who's next? That's the real question. The thing is, there hasn't really been, like, a new Orbiter for a while. Um. Because the thing is, we don't really do the streams anymore. We're, like, well, I'm just, on like, no new any random are. person. No new friends. We're not, I'm, like, I'm not, like, down to make new friends. Anyone, yeah, you, any friends you guys make, I keep as, like, acquaintances or whatever. Like, I, you, I'm, I'm glad you guys have new friends and stuff like that. I'm not making any. Trud Logic is the last new friend. <laughs> He's the last British friend. He's the last new friend. Um, I do like that Queeman kid, but I haven't really talked to him much. Queeman's great. He's an acquaintance. He came from Chud's community. No new friends. <laughs> yeah. I'm not sticking my I'm head trying to go on the incel way. arc, you know. I think we need to go no new friends, incel no new arc, women. just yeah. <laughs> no new women. No I mean no nothing. Just no no there's no new no new women, but also just no current women. There's no women. Yeah. Every fucking person I become friends with online like blows back on me. Um uh, there was one recently that we're not really talking about that was really funny. Do you know which one I'm talking about? Um uh oh yeah yeah like i dude i literally cannot win with this with some of these people um <laughs> yeah we're yeah. becoming super my goal for this year is to become super elitist um so that's the plan yeah i mean i think that's good in fairness like you know we've come away relatively unscathed given everything but the the mental torment is just not really worth it yeah i know yeah it's just ugh. god it's a fucking game you know Honestly, like, there's a reason why, like, other than just clout chasing um, and becoming friends with, like, people, you're, there's, like, a significant value in hanging around creators that are larger than you because you know that they're not fucking around, all right? You know what I mean? Like, well, yeah, because they anything, have, you're they more have, of a they danger have a, to them, and that's a better relationship than They them. have an interest in self-preservation and not blowing themselves up over retarded shit. Yeah. What and you don't want to do is be around the people who are only here for, like, social belonging. No. Because I had one of those, and that was very bad you know yep that that went very that went very poorly and uh you know i would say due to no fault of my own you don't have a platform and you have nothing to lose i don't want to be friends with you yeah i would agree yeah like there's no reason to hang out with somebody who's like a literal liability who nothing will happen to them if they fuck you over um like there's nothing like there's nothing to take away from you so like i I don't know i don't want to be friends with those kinds of people yeah Um, yeah i would agree I, i think we're in we're in agreement there um well especially because there's uh and even those who do make a career um, and like have a little bit of a come up, they tend to. Uh, you can tell by their by their actions. I think what their priorities are because sometimes they'll have a veneer of having like career aspirations, and then ultimately that's not really it. Um, I mean, I, even Edwin is kind of a decent example there. Um, someone who never really was putting in the work that much, but he would just be around always, and he'd be like socially interacting. Um, and then all that weird shit came out about him. Yeah, but he was um, streaming pretty regularly. Like, he was making money. Like, it wasn't like... I mean, he had something to lose, and he lost it, and then he lost all his money on crypto. So he was in, like, a really shitty position. Um, 
Yeah, yeah. I don't know. I'm talking about people who don't even have an audience. Those are the people not to be like, I don't know. In the past, I used to be like, oh, hey, what's going on? Yeah, I'll check out your shit. Yeah, no problem. I'm not always good at responding on DMs and stuff like that. But I don't know, dude. I'll just say it. Like, I did fucking like we gave Dave five nights a week on his fucking stream. Right. Uh, like we would have like a new guest every day. Dave was averaging more viewers than Tommy. Like his, his his stream was up and up and up and up. And he's doing a stream last week about like, is Nick racist? <laughs> Like, dead on dave did that yeah like he did a stream with his stupid dumb fuck retarded girlfriend or whatever because when i tweeted about her i spelt the word what was it bite as b-i-g-h-t and if you google that or whatever apparently that's like a a, a spelling of like I, i've never heard this apparently that means noose so what he really thought is like well, not him but what the girl really thought is i was talking about like lynching her or something uh, and dave's like oh you know i don't know I mean, we don't we couldn't possibly know it's like You've known me, motherfucker. Like, what do you mean? Did he really do that? I didn't know that. Yeah, he, like, did this, like, the, and, like, and the thing is, I've been, like, so cool about this. Like, we didn't blow up on him the first time. And, like, the second time, it was, like, we, I, I defended Dave, and I argued with her. And then he, like, quit the entire internet, because he didn't want to do drama anymore. And then he showed back up talking about three-month-old drama on his podcast randomly, or whatever. And people were messaging me saying, Dave is debating whether Nick's fucking racist on stream. So yeah, no, I am so done doing fucking handouts and becoming friends with these fucking losers who have nothing to take from them. Um, because holy shit, bro. This guy literally was like fucking handed 300 concurrent viewers or whatever every single episode. I don't know. That fucking blows. Because I I, the other day you mentioned something about that and I thought you were joking. No, no, it's like, it's, it's fucking crazy. I don't know. Dude, pussy's crazy. Pussy fucking ruins men. Uh, yeah. We're in agreement. <laughs> All right, on that note, I got to get out of here, but uh, yeah, hope buddy. the rest of the stream goes well, buddy. Take it easy. See you later, buddy. Good chat. Um, Yeah, I wasn't going to talk about that, but I don't know. It's funny. Whatever. <laughs> Dude. Uh, um, yeah. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Who was the rapist? There was no rapist in that story. I know. Crazy, right? Nobody raped. Um... Let me see. Wow, I was indirectly called racist because people called me tokens. And I referred to myself as such in a video. And I got lectured for... Yeah, no, dude, this fucking... I think I said, like, you should know your place. And then she went, oh, the back of the bus? <laughs> like, you're literally just starting friends with all of... You're starting fights with all of Dave's friends. And then I said, know your place. So she assumed, like, I meant, like, Rosa Parks. I, like, you're just perpetually fucking, like... I, I don't know, dude. Oh, oh fuck. Right, whatever. Um, Beckett just watched that on stream. Yeah. Uh, now, you know, what's going to happen is now I have to have a call with Tommy and I'm like, all right, I ended up talking about, cause I said I wasn't going to talk about it on stream. And I also said I wasn't going to talk about, um, the Magnetar stuff on stream, but like, I don't know. I just, I can't, I can't help myself. It's so fucking crazy. Yeah. Oh, now I'm going to get in trouble, but whatever. I wouldn't, I wasn't going to talk about it, but I, I see no reason why I shouldn't. It's just gay. It's just super gay. Whatever. Um, donos. We gotta catch up. Thank you guys for supporting the stream. Doing pretty good tonight. I uh, I am very, very, very happy, dude. We're gonna have a Jaws in no time. <laughs> dude. Home arcade update chat. Um, yeah, we're killing it. Bodge. Thank you for the new membership. Katie won, but at what cost? She's a known liar now. Good job. Trevor Iceberg, $2. You think I can write off those donos on my taxes? Believe me, if you could, you, uh, I would. I tried to write off. I, I went to my um, my person, right? And I've donated to charity a few times this year, like for drama-related purposes, because uh, a drama would pop up. Uh, and I also donated to charity when we were doing the half-baked stuff. I think that was the calendar year, right? Well, last year, technically, but in the tax year, right? And they go, listen, unless you're donating like a 10% uh, of your revenue to charity, it's not going to help you. N not in the position you're in. I'm like, oh, nice. So now I'm like, oh, okay. So that's not a tax write-off. Tax write-off is like new PC, I guess, because that's, or like Adobe After Effects subscription. That's like tax write-off, but um, yeah. Somebody, $5, social Darwinism at its finest. If you're too weak and pathetic to defend yourself, you deserve what you get. Uh, evil dawn at five dollars it's rape because mentally disabled people can't legally consent true that's like the best argument against george 
Um, but then again, he if he's also retarded, can he consent? That's weird. Um, let me see. Reynold Hughes, $10. Okay, if I was out all day, I'm catching up. The interview with Katie's friend ended up being fake? Yeah. Yes, it was, Reynold. Yes, it was. Teddy, $10. Who is this trolling lunatic? He is a no-name, but um, he did really well. So that was cool. $10. I'm oh, sorry, $20 from Teddy. If I was the one in the call, I would have brought up Lion Maker way sooner. True, true, true. Teddy, $5. Aiden Glaze so that George can tickle. Thank you. And another big 50 bomb from Teddy. It worked to get people's attention. You need a flair for the dramatic. Okay, come on. At that point, you had to know this was that by his tone. Yeah, I mean, you're not wrong. You're not wrong, young Teddy. You are not wrong. Um, let me get this kill. Pop, 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 pop. Bang. All right. Let's get this kill. My aim is awesome, dude. I'm actually the best aimer in the game. Um, I'm Amaranth. That's my name. All right. Teddy, $10. New year, new me, new rape. Jesus. Okay, cool. Cool, cool, cool beans. Um, What's next? We got Filthy Robbie, $5. This is so cancer. I'd rather be that poor guy than a soft, uh, a gay soy Minecraft YouTuber. Kyphus, thank you to the two Australians. So baby gronk me closer. Wait, baby gronk me closer in the back of Skibby Toilet. Skibbity Toilet. Nice one. Um, $10. Teddy, Nick, you'd be losing money if you don't go to canvassing with Vosh. Uh, Almond City, $2. Someone warned the horses in Central Park before May. <laughs> oh, no. Transmaggle5. I sent you something on Twitter. Uh, I guess STG. It's safe for streams. Uh, let me see. James the Frog, $5. No new friends. Well, it's good. I'm already part of your 16... Wait, 1,639 closest friends and family. Based. Epic. Uh, Toastify, two euro cuck dollars. Will you cover Alex the Sniffer Kisser? I haven't looked into alex yet to be honest uh he's on the back burner with like that other earlier this year story that i can pull out at any time the one with uh that chud covered with the girl that we don't even know if is alive anymore um that was another one. Oh, do you guys want to see something really fucking funny dude dude someone got so triggered i have to go on an alt because too mad has me blocked you know if too mad unblocks me i might defend him on this one Someone, can you guys reach out to Tumad and ask him to unblock me? Uh, where is it? Um, yeah, drop him a DM for me, please, buddy. Where is it? Where is it? Here. So Tumat, so I, there was like a drama about this whole interaction and it was the gayest drama I was in last year because I guess people were mad that I didn't care to interview Tumat after I asked him on Twitter and then pulled out of it the next day when I wasn't interested enough to get more information just because I had asked him. It was like, the, it was literally the gayest drama last year that I was in. I still to this day, like th there are things that people say that I can be like, all right, I'll meet you like a, a one fiftieth of the way there. But like this one was not even remotely normal. But yeah, so this came up. Let me just hop off Fortnite for a second because I want to pull this up here. And someone, go so they go, why does he keep posting? Doesn't that make it worse? Is he manic? I'm fucking fine. I feel very weird, but fuck this bitch. I don't give a fuck. I forgot the rest. I was going to say, oh, I'm sober as fuck. And I said, yo, too mad. Would you like to do an interview? And he goes, Oing. and I'm like, dope, dude, let's set it up. Like, this is like a half a meme, but I'm like, oh, it'd be cool to get an interview at Too Mad. And this is like wireless, the drama's happening. The next day, he'd posted like 500 tweets, and I'm like, no, this guy's manic. I don't want to do that in an interview, right? If you go back, it's still up on my Twitter. If this is still up, that's still up, right? And then this guy, Phantom Yi, goes, please don't fuck it up. There's no way to not fuck it up at this moment. And then he goes, honestly, you're right. There's a slim chance, but I have some hope. Remember when Keemstar interviewed Etika and enabled him? We all know how that went. I also remember when Kanye West went on InfoWars. I just want Nick Diori to learn from those two incidents. Thank God I didn't do the interview. Boy, do I have some bad news for you, Phantom Ye. Boy, do I have some bad news for you. Well, guess what, motherfucker? I didn't even need to do the interview. He did it on his own, all right? That's not me. That's not me. Oh, my hands are clean. No blood on my fingies. 
Um, yeah, dude, boy, did I dodge a fucking bullet from Phantom Yee. Phantom Yee was ready to expose me for going and doing that interview, homie. Like, what the fuck? No shot. Getting the fuck out of... Yeah, Tom did the interview. Yeah, guess what, motherfucker? Tom did the interview. It's on blood on your hands, Tomothy. <laughs> That got me. That caught me. I got caught with a right right there, and I was wobbling when I read that fucking message. <laughs> oh, God. Anybody see? I'm, oh, dude, I'm hyped for UFC 300 next month. I'm going to be watching the fuck out of that. My fingies? Yeah, dude. Call me Edwin, because that's the way I'd be sexting. Bitches get my fingies. Uh, did you rhyme all that on purpose? Hell yeah. That convo is old as fuck. Yeah, that's when he first went crazy. Uh, I was going to schedule the interview. I mean, it's it's all related. Uh, he, he did a bunch of ketamine and stuff after all that. And he probably got worse, I'd imagine, after the year. 